Sound It Out Phonics brings you Learn CVC Words with the sound I by Lilibet's Resources. Let's start by playing a game. Can you see? I have two things here. I have a bib, a nice little bib for a baby to wear, and a bin where we can put our rubbish. Bib and bin. OK, I'm going to say a word and I want you to listen very carefully to see if you can listen and hear what I'm saying. OK, so ready to listen? Here we go. B -i -n. B -i -n. Now, what am I saying? Am I saying bib or am I saying bin? Listen again. In. B in. I hope you can hear it because I'm saying B in. Bin. Now let's play another game. This time we've got a picture of a man digging. So we've got the word dig. And we've also got a nice fact pig. OK. So I'm going to say a word and I want you to listen again. Which word am I saying? Am I saying dig or am I saying pig? OK, here we go. Are you ready? D-I-G 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 Yes, I'm saying D-I-G Dig well, that one was a little bit easier, wasn't it? Because dig begins with d and pig begins with p. Can you hear how those two words rhyme? Dig, pig. That gives us a clue. Not all words that, are, that rhyme are spelt the same, but sometimes they are. So just note those two. They rhyme. And here's the last two. OK, listen carefully. Same game. I'll say a word. What am I saying? L ip. L ip. Ah, that was easy, wasn't it? Of course. I'm saying lip. L ip. Lip. And again, listen. Lip. Zip. I think you'd have known if I was saying zip, wouldn't you? starting with a nice z sound but lip and zip can you hear they rhyme as well lip zip right let's move on and see what we've got next okay now we're going to read a word together now remember those blue buttons mean that as you say each sound you're going to point to it all right so let's find my marker Here's all, so I say all, and for this one I say i, and for this one I say p. Okay, so we say them in order like this: all, i, p, and we listen, and we feel what our lips are doing. We're saying a word. What are we saying? All, i, p, all, i. Yes, we're saying lip, lip, all right? You know where your lips are, don't you? We've got two of them. Here's another one. Let's have a look. S, I, P, all right? Say them with me. S, I, P. Sip, sip. I have a sip of my drink. Yeah, sip. I can't give you a picture for that one. You'll have to imagine it. All right. So there we go. You've got a glass of water in front of you and you have a sip. It rhymes with lip. Sip, lip. I'm sure you're getting very good at this now. So here's our next word. 
OK, ready to sound it out with me. Here we go. T, I, P. Bit quicker. T, I, P. Can you hear it? T, I, P. T, I, P. Tip. Put the rubbish, tip the rubbish away. Put the rubbish in the tip. Give somebody a tip. We can use that word in several ways, can't we? And here's another one for you. Now you're getting so good at them. Have a little go yourself first. And then we'll see together what we can read. All right, let's have a look together. Ready? P, I, P, P, I, P. Can you hear it? P, I, P, P, I, P. Pip. Do you know what a pip is? Do you? I'm sure you do. Here's a pip inside the apple. Do you know what will happen if you plant the pip? It'll grow. It'll grow into an apple tree. And if you leave it there long enough, it would take several years. That little tiny pip would grow more apples. It's a wonderful world in which we live, you know. So much to learn and find out about it. But now you're starting to learn to read. You'll be able to soon read lots of books and find out even more about our world. We're now going to have a go at trying to spell some words with the sound I in them. All right. So here we've got our bin. If I say the word bin, I'm going to hear three sounds because there are three sounds in the word bin. Let's have a think about it, shall we? I'm sure you'd agree that the first sound is the sound B, B for bin. But what comes next? Let's start to say the word and stop. Ready? B, B, B. Ah, now that's not just a B, is it? It's B, E, E. So we're going to put E next. See? B, B, E. We can put them together and say B. So what would I put on the end? Because B isn't a bin, is it? B, it's not finished. We need something else to finish it. What sound would you put on the end? Well, well, how about N? Yeah. So now we can try and sound it out and see if we've got it right. Ready? B, in, B, in, bin. Yes, we were right. Because if we'd have put any other sound on the end, it wouldn't have made the right word. OK. Every letter in a word is there for a reason. Here's another one, a zip. Now, let's have a little think. If we were going to write the word zip, what would be the first sound that we would write down? I'm sure you know that. Yes, we'd want to put z, wouldn't we? Z for zip. But what would be the next sound? Because z doesn't say zip. Any ideas? Listen, z. There it is, z. And then we, that's not a zip either, is it? That's the beginning of the word zip, but it's not all of it. What would you put on the end? Well, there it is. Yeah, up sound. And if we sound it out, let's see if we're right. Z -ip. Zip. OK. If we put any other letter on the end, it wouldn't have made the word zip. It had to be a p and you can feel it. Say the word zip now and feel that p at the end of the word as your lips open out quickly and say p. zip. All right. Spelling is as much feeling the sounds as you say them. 
as it is hearing them. Well done. You've worked very hard today. So here's your gold star. Keep listening to sounds in words, because the more you hear them, the quicker you're going to learn. Keep trying and keep practicing.